Welcome back. October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and I'm here this morning with Leslie Washington, who is a survivor of domestic abuse. Good morning, Leslie. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let's talk a little bit about what does this month and the meaning uh, behind this month mean for you, really? Well, for me, it's, it's a personal story for me because, as you know, I dealt with domestic violence for nine years, and I was married with my husband for a little bit over a year. And so after he fractured the orbit in my left eye, leaving permanent damage, you know, so I try to do what I can to bring awareness to domestic violence because even in this pandemic, you know, domestic violence has definitely exacerbated. Mm -hmm. And then we know that when there's a firearm involved, it's five times more likely for the woman to, you know, to die. So I continue to use my voice for those that have been impacted by domestic violence mm -hmm. because it's very near and dear to my heart. So anything that I can do to bring awareness is is what I will try to continue to do. Oh yeah, most definitely. And what would be some advice that you would give to someone who may be in an abusive relationship? Um, I would give them the fact that, you know, when I was going through my situation, I didn't have I didn't know about the different resources, the safe house mm -hmm. or any of those things or the 24-hour hotline, you know, there is a 24 hot, hot 24-hour hotline that people can call. There's also a text number that they can use as well. So if they feel that they're in a situation like that, they can, you know, go to a trusted friend, a trusted relative, and make a safety plan to get out because when I got out, I had to get out at the last minute. So mm -hmm. I had to grab what I can get. And I would say also to have your important documents, your your ID, your passport, your birth certificate, your kids' information, your medicine, have all that like stashed away and put away and even pack a bag because like I said, I had to pack at the last minute and I had to to go when I had that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, people who aren't in an abusive relationship, maybe they know someone that is, but they might think, why don't you just leave? Why don't you just, you know, let them go? But it's not that simple. Talk no, a little bit about that. It's not. It's never simple for someone to leave out of that situation mm -hmm. because a lot of times you're scared, you're nervous, you don't know if the person's going to come back when you get an opportune time to leave. So you just have to be careful. And when someone talks, like someone will talk to me about my situation or whatever the case may be. And I always tell people, never judge a book by its cover mm -hmm. because you don't know what I've been through. My story is not the same as yours. Mm -hmm. So it's important that if someone comes to you you listen to them, you don't judge, you don't say, oh, well, you should leave. No, it takes a woman an average of seven to eight times mm. for them to leave. You have, that person has to be tired. And it's not just women that are abused, it's men. Mm -hmm. It's one in nine men that are abused. It's one in four women that have been ab abused by domestic violence in their life lifetime or even inter part intimate partner violence. And there's children that have been abused. They're the elderly. So there, it's just not, domestic violence, We be clear, domestic violence is not just the physical, mm -hmm. it's the mental, the spiritual, the financial, it's the digital stalking where they use your personal social media mm -hmm. platforms to reach out to you from a fake Facebook page and send you threatening messages or call you names or just be just mean all you know all the way around. Mm -hmm. That is so important to note that it can it can happen to anyone and it's not just like you said the physical aspect right. there is so much more to it and there is so many good resources out there that people can take advantage of I know that you had mentioned the safe house is there any other resources that you know of that would be good for someone to reach out to if they're in a situation well there is the domestic violence hotline mm -hmm. which is available uh, 24 hours a day seven days a week three 365 okay. days a year and that number is 1-800-799-7233 or they can send an SMS text to START that's S-T-A-R-T 
at, um, to 88788. And I say this, everyone deserves a relationship free of abuse. Mm -hmm. And we need to love each other. We need to respect each other. We need to treat each other how we want to be treated. Mm -hmm. No one deserves domestic violence. Yep, you're exactly right. Well, Leslie, thank you so much for coming on and talking about this. We need to bring more awareness to domestic violence and help those who are in those situations get out of those relationships. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes.